So in this video, we'll look at what is master slave technique. So let's say we have a running application. Uh, it has a web server, which is used for serving the request. And of course, a database to store data. But what if due to some reason, our database goes down? Without data, there is no meaning of an application, right? So what can we do to be more fault tolerant? The answer is simple, data replication. It is similar to what we do in real life also. If you keep all of your documents at one place and you are scared that you might lose them, then what you do is you make photocopies of your documents so that if one gets lost, you have a copy. Same is what we do with applications. We create replicas of database. So now if let's say one goes down, you have other databases to serve your request. One such database replication technique is called the master slave technique, which is typically used in read heavy systems. What I mean from read heavy systems is that an application where read operations are more common than write. For example, a news application, a new news may not come every minute, but thousands of people want to read news every minute. So in this way, a new news may not get written to our databases every minute, but we will have to return latest news to lots of users. So for such use cases, what we do is we create a slave, which is nothing but a copy of main database, which we call as master. Now, whenever a new news comes, it gets saved to our master database and then it is replicated to the slave. All the read requests are served through slave and all the writes are given to the master. A good question to ask here would be, what if our master goes down now? Our application will still fail, right? So yes, but to avoid that, we can keep more than one slave. Now, in case our master goes down, one of the slaves is promoted to master and then the same process can keep on going. So this was the master slave technique and for more such videos, you can consider subscribing to the channel.